The Painted Man. Item number, SCP-1005. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1005 is to be maintained at Site-17 in a 3 meters by 3 meters by 3 meters holding room, equipped with dim lighting. SCP-1005 has no nutritional requirements aside from a need to maintain hydration levels. Humidity in holding chamber should be kept at a minimum of 70% when possible, and at least one liter of water provided for consumption daily. SCP-1005 also does not need to sleep, but has requested a chair in which to relax when not undergoing study. Granted. SCP-1005 also does not produce any waste, losing water only to evaporation, thus minimal cleanup is required. SCP-1005 has volunteered to give its chamber a monthly cleaning to prevent buildup of paint residue under consideration. Due to ongoing good behavior and amicable attitude, SCP-1005 has been granted permission to explore non-secured sections of Site-17 and utilize social rooms, provided it is accompanied by at least one Level 2 researcher and one Level 1 security agent. Update. By request of maintenance crews, SCP-1005 is required to wear coverings over its feet when leaving its chamber. Description. SCP-1005 is a sapient humanoid entity composed of semi-solid blue paint, with exact shades ranging from near white to deep navy. The surface of SCP-1005 has an average tensile strength approximately 75% that of human skin. This includes its clothing. SCP-1005 is unable to consciously control the viscosity or shape of its overall form, beyond the normal locomotion of a humanoid body. It can, however, control its outer layer to a point where it can choose whether or not its paint will smear on contacting surfaces. The degree to which SCP-1005 is able to control itself in such a manner becomes lessened if overhydrated. SCP-1005 is in the shape of a bald, humanoid male, approximately 1.9 meters tall, and has demonstrated the ability to speak with a deep and resonant voice. Despite this, SCP-1005 has no gender in physical structure or personal identity. The apparent clothing is integrated as if skin, save for the shirt at the sleeves and lower hem, and the pants below the ankles. Only SCP-1005's shoes are fully unique. It is believed they were created separately from the rest of SCP-1005 from the beginning. The process by which SCP-1005 was animated and remains so is not known. By its own admission, SCP-1005 only remembers becoming aware only a few minutes before its reclamation during a raid at an auction being held by Marshall, Carter, and Dark LTD, where it was up for bid alongside several items which had been under Foundation investigation, specifically data expunged. As SCP-1005 originally having no sense of self-worth, identity, or purpose, the mobile task force enacting the raid was able to convince SCP-1005 that it belonged to the Foundation and had been stolen. It willingly entered custody and was transferred to the MTF staging area before permanent relocation to Site-17. To date, SCP-1005 has been extremely cooperative with researchers, showing a polite and professional attitude. SCP-1005 lacks most complex emotions beyond levels of satisfaction and comfort, and has demonstrated only limited facial expressions outside of movements required to speak. Additionally, SCP-1005 seems to lack the ability to understand abstract concepts. It is perfectly able to count, speaks fluent English with a slight northern Midwest American accent, and can perform simple tasks. Complicated mathematics, emotional responses, and existential topics such as religion leave SCP-1005 confused, usually stating that it simply does not understand. The only driving force behind SCP-1005 is a desire to make its owners happy with it, usually through cooperating with testing protocols, but also while serving as entertainment or still life living artwork for personnel during recreational periods. Researchers with clearance level 2 or higher access are advised to read document 1005-01478 for an abbreviated listing of testing logs concerning SCP-1005.